Melchibokum is one of the basic side dish which is yummy and nutrition packed. There are tons of different recipes from sweet to spicy. Today we'll make melchibokum with perfect balance of sweet and salty flavor and with the extra texture from almond and dry shrimp. Melchi's dried anchovy. In Korea, there are certain seasons when it's allowed to catch anchovy. And all the anchovy boat have gigantic pot on it, so the anchovies are boiled on the boat as soon as they're caught not to go bad, which means all the Korean melchi is already boiled and dried. When you go shopping for Korean dried anchovies, you will find them in three different sizes. We make melchi bokum with small or medium sized anchovy, and the big ones are used when we make broth. Let's use small one today. Tip for storing. It has to be kept in the freezer, otherwise it's gonna go stale although it's dried. It's safe food anyway. Let's get started. We are adding dry shrimp and roasted almond for extra flavor and texture today, but you can add any other nuts. But before we saute them, we are gonna roast dried shrimps and anchovies separately first. Cause they can be a little bit fishy from the moisture in them, so it's better to evaporate for some degree. But we don't want too crisp anchovies for a side dish, do we? So depending on the size of them, adjust it from 1 to 2 minutes so that they're in the perfectly chewy and crispy range. The only ingredient to cut is garlic. Slice 3 garlic cloves. Heat your pan over low heat and add some generous amount of oil, 3 tablespoons here. When it's heated well, add sliced garlic. When the flavor of garlic gets infused into oil, it'll take away any fishy smell from anchovies. But if the garlic goes brown, it'll taste bitter. So tilt your pan so that the garlic can get soaked in the oil. Keep stirring until your garlic gets a little bit sticky and soft. And then add syrup, sugar, plum syrup, optional, and mirin. When it boils, Add all three ingredients and mix them for one minute to get them incorporated and turn the heat off. You might think, what? Sugary condiments only? Wouldn't it be just sweet? No, since the anchovies are boiled in the salty water on the boat, there's already some saltiness in it. So when you taste this, it's in perfect balance of savory and sweet flavor. Add some sesame oil and sesame seed. Mix them one more time. We eat anchovies whole including bones, so they are loaded in calcium. And we can keep it in the refrigerator up to 10 days. So don't forget to eat this delicious and nutrition packed side dish whenever you eat steamed rice. 